don't pick that life, that life picks you. Welcome to Sit Down News, and before I begin, I'd like to mention our sponsor. Ratchet is a clothing company from the UK, started by a young man with a vision, a dream, and determination. They have various prints and styles for men, women, and children. I'll include a link to their website down below in the description for this video. By now, everyone knows Anthony Guzzo and I were inducted into the Lucchese crime family on the same day, April 2nd, 2013. Briefly, Anthony's father, Vito Sr., was a member of the Colombo family and disappeared on a hunting trip in 1987. On the trip that day with him was fellow Colombo member Vinnie Union's Ricciardo. As I've mentioned in a previous video, Anthony's brother Vito took revenge on those involved in their father's murder, including Vinny Unions, and anyone familiar with Anthony knows he lives off the reputation of his brother. Not even a week after we were straightened out did Anthony make a mistake. He was good friends with a guy by the name of John Merendino. John Merendino is the son-in-law of Gennaro and Camilla Sabaro, the original owners of Sabaro Pizza. Anthony was supposed to put Merendino on record with him, but he waited too long. Someone introduced Merendino to Matty Madonna, and Matty immediately told Merendino he was with him. Our captain, Big John, came to me fuming. He said, this Anthony is a moron. Why didn't he put this Sabaro guy on record with us, meaning our crew? He said, now Matty glommed him. The reason Big John was upset is you want a money guy in your crew, you could use his money to make money. So naturally, the first thing Maddie did was borrow money from Merendino to invest in a restaurant. Not long after Maddie took Merendino from us, Anthony, myself, and a few guys went for dinner, including Merendino. The restaurant we went to was Prime in Huntington, Long Island. Prime's a beautiful place that overlooks the water. They also serve a good steak. We were seated at a long table in a room with a fireplace. After a few minutes of us being there, Anthony felt hot and asked the waiter if he could cut the fire off. The waiter told him it wouldn't be a problem. Now at this time, Anthony and I were members of the family for about two weeks. In that life, you need to carry yourself a certain way. You have to be mindful of your actions, the things you say, and you should carry yourself with honor because your actions are a reflection of your bogata, your family. About 20 minutes later, some guys and a few women sat in front of the fireplace, which was now back on. After a while, Anthony noticed the fire and called the waiter over. I thought I told you to shut the fire. The waiter looked nervous and said, well, they wanted to feel the heat. So Anthony tells them loud enough for everyone in the room to hear, ask them if they like to feel the heat from a sort of shotgun. I motioned for him to take a walk because I didn't want the whole table to hear me. I said to him, what's the matter with you talking like that? I know, I know, he said, but I'm dying from the heat in there. The thing that bothered me was, even if the guys sitting by the fire wanted to say something, what shot did they have? The fact that they remained silent made us look even worse. This was the same Anthony who made every excuse during the planning of an assault, even going to the point of lying to our captain about stabbing the guy with a screwdriver. Or when he knew I had a meeting, one that turned out to me getting locked in a Bronx restaurant, never even offered to come with me. The same Anthony, while at Sing Sing, who lied about receiving a contract on an FBI agent, agreed to a polygraph and failed. Cosa Nostra is not only a group of criminals, but a way of life. Many view a family or families as a whole, when in fact, it's more about how individuals conduct themselves, their principles and values. Just as a family is made up of small families or crews, and together they represent the Bogata, if you're part of that life, Amica Nostra, you carry yourself with honor. What you don't do is ask a bunch of civilians how they would like to feel the heat of a sort of shotgun. As far as Cosa Nostra, it's about what you're capable of doing alone, not when you're in a group that counts. I believe the following story will sum Anthony Guzzo all up. A construction contractor owed a company associated to the Lucchese family 800000 Big John wanted Joe Perna, Anthony, and me to go talk to the guy. The fact that the Lucchese's were sending three wise guys for a collection said how serious this was. 
We met at the cigar lounge, and then I jumped in Joe Perna's car. And as usual, Anthony had to take his own car. He would always do this because he wanted to go straight home afterwards. Unfortunately for Anthony, his wife would always call him to ask when he would be returning home. It's the reason our crew called Anthony a kept man. We pulled over at a rest stop area in Jersey. Anthony parked his car and jumped in with us. Being Joey's from Jersey, he knew how to get us there. When we pulled up to the address, it was an industrial area. The place had a guard booth and Joey pulled up to it. A young kid was manning it. Joey asked for the guy we needed to see. The kid said he would call and that we should pull past the gate and pull over. About a minute later, a guy wearing a windbreaker came walking towards us, and Joey and I got out, and I assumed Anthony was behind us. Joey told the guy that he needed to pay the 800000 and as soon as he said it, the guy took out his phone and said, I'm calling the FBI, you better leave. We looked at each other, and then we turned around to go walk back to the car. Anthony was just getting out of the back seat, and Joey shot me a look. We made small talk as we drove back to the rest stop to let Anthony out. And no sooner was he out of the car did Joey turn to me and say, what did he have, lead in his pockets back there? I guess it was easier to make civilians in a restaurant feel the heat of a sort of shotgun than to stand next to your brothers on a construction site. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. Thank you. Well, just another example in the mob you never knew about. Hope you enjoyed the story. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description for this video.